Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Money and Career Tarot reading and it will be for May 2021, though I am releasing these a little bit early. So from now to the end of May 2021, for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull your overarching energy. I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux for those of you who want to know. And um, we'll see what card comes out. So what do we have for Aries? Thank you. Angels, Spirits, Guides message for our lovely Aries in money and career only May 2021 thank you message for Aries thank you okay what do we have for Aries thank you <laughs> I like the page of cups things are about to look up It's always a good sign. Can be a message, opportunity. Things are about to look up. Okay, so okay, thank you. Oh yeah, they are. Interesting. We have financial health. It's almost kind of like the cards are ahead of me. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. So I like this image. Do you see this image, Aries? Because you know we have the, the, the you see the corkscrew there's kind of like this journey has been a lot of twists and turns it's not been an easy journey and yet there's growth here there's thriving there's flourishing in the most harshest conditions this tree is actually surviving on a rock you know and it's in it's facing the worst conditions it's out there in the elements and yet there is growth and abundance there so it's a great energy of financial health coming your way. Things are about to look up. And it might well be that's the experience that you've had. Okay. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides. What is the message for Aries? Money, career, finances. Thank you. Message for Aries. Thank you. Yeah. Very you. Very you indeed. We've got unlimited ideas. We, we have, your mind is one of God's infinite. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. And therefore you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. The Page of Cups can also be intuitive messages. So it might well be for some of you there's inspiration here, creative inspiration as well for some of you. That is working in your favor, bringing financial health. So, yeah, I'm getting get creative. Get creative is definitely a message that I'm getting through. Time to get creative. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to pull five cards and the first card, card will be the challenge position. So what do we have for Aries, please? Money, career, finances for May 2021, please. Angels, spirits, guides, the Knight of Pentacles in the challenge position. Okay. love the knight of swords appearing right next to the knight of pentacles in what's going for you queen of swords obstacles to overcome <laughs> oh my goodness aries you are back in your power this is the advice from spirit and the emperor is the card of aries and it's the major arcana energy which is the big energy um you know, the minor arcana supports the major, you know, so where this is tactical, this is the big energy of what this represents. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Out. King of Wands. I'm seeing this as you, male or female energy, but it, it feels very beautiful here. Wow. Well, you might be getting some positive message through. I feel some of you will be getting news. News, that's, news that brings progress and brings direction. And 
is very much tying in with your ambitions and drive, you know. Uh, you know, I'm definitely seeing that in the cards here. The Page of Cups is things are about to look up, you know. There may well be some creative inspiration or a creative approach that you're taking here. You might be getting creative, Aries. Um, but there is definitely, I mean, the Page of Cups can be a message to do with creative opportunity as well. But it feels that the things are about to look up and that's what you're being told. Uh, pages can be messengers, so it can link in with news. There, this is linked with financial health, like I said. The Knight of Pentacles can sometimes represent offers or opportunities. Um, that could be to do with job offers, business contracts, new business, uh, client wins, call it what you will. But the Knight in the challenge position can be an energy of feeling stagnated. It could well be you're waiting for the opportunity, you know, or um, you're feeling a bit stuck or stagnated. You know, it can be that kind of energy. So, and it feels this is to do with finances, financial health, money, career. So I'm definitely getting this energy. You're feeling stuck, stagnated. For some of you, and it won't be for everybody, you know, there is a kind of energy that I'm feeling here of how you can bring change to your situation by the work that you do. And certainly with this creative energy, you know, for some of you, it can be about how you translate your skills and experience to, I'm definitely getting industries that are recruiting. It might not be the industry that you are used to, but it might well be for some of you that there is a change that you need to adopt here in terms of how you um, bring opportunity into your life, how things start to lock up. It, that can be the creative approach here that you need when you're feeling stuck. Um, there could also be career changes as well. Some of you working hard to bring some kind of career change your way. And again, there could have been some creative approach to do with that Aries too. But there's definitely an energy of things are about to look up. It's just, I feel for some of you to bring change to your situation and to release from feeling stuck. Some of you might be, have been exploring options, you know, and it feels that kind of energy. Um, because we have the Knight of Swords, which is news, a conversation or news that brings change. It's very clear. So there is some news coming your way that brings change and it could be linked with this page of cups, which can be a message, you know, a message where things start looking up. It could be to do with an opportunity. It could be some news that you're getting that is very much in line with what you want to take action towards. But it feels like there is some good news coming your way. Yeah, the Queen of Swords is an interesting one because obstacles to overcome, she is all about balance. So I'm feeling in this energy, it can be to do with trying to get balance back in your life, you know, and she is somebody who, who is clear thinking, crystal clear logic. She is, uh, you know, she has this idea of, um, clear logic, clear reason, these are the actions that I need to take in order to bring gain and power into my life. You know, she only takes action to walk towards that which brings her gain. At the end of the day, there's an accountable energy with the Queen of Swords, you know. She'll take advice, but ultimately she'll make the decisions that she wants, you know. It's that kind of energy. So that's either your energy, Aries, or it could well be, you know, um, the thing that you need to do to overcome your situation right now. The Queen of Swords could also be somebody who you need to influence. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords. So we've got the Five of Wands. <laughs> yeah, interesting, with the Queen of Swords. So, uh, sorry, Queen of Wands with the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel for some of you that the Queen of Swords, it might well be somebody who's making a decision. I'm definitely getting that there could be some opportunity being presented to you or news 
There's some positive news coming your way. But the person that stands in the way of getting the opportunity of getting to where you want to be, it feels like it's this Queen of Swords. Male or female energy is a card of Libra. Uh, somebody who's very clever, intellectual, uh, has a visionary quality, a balanced reason, approach, you know, that kind of energy. And the five of wands is compete. It feels like competing. So it feels like you're competing against other people or you could be competing against the Queen of Swords, you know, for your power, for what you want, for what you're taking action towards. Yeah. In this instance, Aries, it feels that there's some kind of competition. And that's what you need to overcome here. You're either up for, it feels like some kind of opportunity and it feels like you're pitted against other people. You could be pitted against a Queen of Swords or it feels in this situation you could be maybe having some conversation with a Queen of Swords to do with some kind of opportunity and competing with other people. But however, the Emperor is somebody who is, I mean, it's a big energy. You know, the Emperor is your energy. It's card of Aries. And this is in the advice from Spirit. So the Emperor is on his throne. So there's definitely an energy of success. Somebody who is back in authority, back in charge. You know, the Emperor... Um, it's a card of taking the initiative, having the drive, um, taking control. I mean, the emperor takes control of a situation. Um, he is the empire builder. He, rec he represents making it happen. It definitely feels in this energy. It definitely feels in this energy. There's an energy of you back in your power, back on the throne, back in control. And the King of Wands energy is, it's interesting Aries because the King of Wands, it feels in this energy, I'm going to clarify the King, King of Wands. So yes, the Two of Cups, an offer or an invitation. Now, in this energy, it's not love, romance, relationships. It's like-minded souls. Uh, it's a bond between two people. So I'm definitely getting this energy of... It's, it, there might well be, and, you know, it, it resonates for everybody differently. This Queen of Swords might be the person that you need to convince. But it feels that there is somebody in power with this King of Wands who is absolutely wants to offer you a position you know uh, this is the kind of offer or an invitation um the two of cups uh like-minded souls kindred spirits a bond between two people it feels aries that there's somebody that you might i mean it could be interviews there could be more than one person in an interview or there could be a level of stages to getting a particular job and there's definitely an energy of things are looking up so it feels very beautiful in that energy. Uh, there's an energy of spirit saying you will be back in your power, back on the throne, in charge. And somebody's recognizing you for your skills, for your experience, for your talent. They connect to you very easily. You know, it feels like you're in their favor. And somebody, and I'm definitely getting this king, may have the final say. Because we've got the queen, king and queen of, of wands here, which, you know, certainly is a business, as a business collaboration, a business partnership. These two energies fit together very, very well. So it might well be whatever this queen of swords is, it definitely feels in this energy that somebody is on your side this month. It feels like someone's in your corner and someone is responsible for putting you back in your power. Interesting. Let's cl let's clarify the Emperor. I've got the Emperor, Ten of Swords, yeah. The Ten of Swords can be a card of loss, can be a card of betrayal, um, stabbed in the back. 
but it's a 10, which is a completion. So whatever has happened here, Aries, there is some news coming your way that's allowing you to be back on your throne. You've had, a, you've been knocked, you know, someone's caused you pain, wounds, upset, but I'm definitely getting in this energy. You have the option now. It feels like someone's in your corner and someone is fighting your corner in offering you some kind of offer or an invitation. And I see this page of cups as being one of those cups. You know, the positive message, things are looking up. The page is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. And I'm definitely getting in this energy, somebody is offering you something this month. Um, and it's like-minded souls. There's a powerful connection here in business. Someone's in your corner because they think like you, they they understand you, they connect to you perfectly, they're in your corner. And it feels in this situation, whatever this queen is, is is all about it doesn't feel this is powerful enough to overcome you being back in your power yeah interesting energy here i'm just going to clarify this knight of swords yeah it's to do with an opportunity so the the ace of pentacles there's news to do with a golden opportunity the ace of pentacles is the beginnings of something new the beginnings of you know certainly the beginnings of change and the the ace of pentacles can be uh, an offer to do with career, uh, career or finances and in this case it feels like a, a business partnership or a job offer whatever this resonates for you it's new abundance coming your way there's a shiny new opportunity coming your way yeah and i feel somebody is seeing the value of you you're being offered it by this king who i'm feeling in this situation may overrule this queen of swords like i said it's all interchangeable male or female energy but i'm getting this energy if someone's in your corner this month Now that could be in your current place of work it could also be in a new place of work you know if if you're yeah i feel for some of you you're going against you're competing for some kind of opportunity but somebody is in your corner this month yeah we have owl sight Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. Very nice energy. I'm going to pull one more Aries. Yeah, we did talk about balance, didn't we? Panda, balance. Ask how to bring balance back to the situation and into your heart. So if it's not to do with a person, it's the struggle to get balance back. And that is what, you know, that is what your challenge is. A struggle to get balance back in your life but it definitely feels in this energy that there is some offer and invitation someone's in your corner and that's what i keep on getting and you're getting back in your power here which is very very beautiful so i hope you enjoyed the reading aries if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you and i will see you next time thank you